Hello everyone, I haven't been active on my YouTube channel lately. It feels like ages since the last time I uploaded a video on this channel. While I was away and not creating any content, I spent my free time playing with Honkai Star Rail. I really enjoyed the gameplay animations and especially appreciated how generous the game is compared to Kenshin. As I was watching Honkai Star Rail content on YouTube, I noticed many creators doing on only series, which is a similar challenge trend to Genshin Impact. Seeing several creators participating in it, combined with my growing obsession with Honkai Star Rail, I thought, why not create one for myself? So here I am starting a new account where I can only play 5 star characters. Does it feel like a deja vu? I'm not so sure. With all that being said though, let's get started. As we embark on this journey, there is only one rule for this challenge. I'm only allowed to use 5 star characters, with an exception. I can play trial characters that are non 5 star characters during the certain quests, because the game won't let me remove them in my team. However, if we're allowed to adjust our team, we are obligated to terminate them. Moving forward from the trial quest with Kafka, we are now at the main character selection. For this series, I will automatically going to pick Stale because she is a waifu. But anyway, let's name this account as 5 star rail because why not? Fast forward to the tutorial, we have now unlocked the warp features where we can finally obtain our desired characters. And of course, our first character that we pull is Asta. I am very happy to have her in my party. But sadly, she is a 4 star character. Now, let's check our mail and claim all the free items we receive. And oh look, there's a free circle. Now, this is the big deal, where we hope to obtain an early 5 star characters from the beginner's banner, even though we will eventually get them within the last 50 pulls. Oh hello Pella, but sadly, I can't use her in this account. So let's do another 10 pull again, and hope we get something. Well, we didn't get something, but wait. That doesn't end our pull right there. We still have another 10 pulls to use after purchasing a good amount of Star Rail passes from the Embers Exchange. And now, the moment of truth. Well, we still didn't get any 5 star character. That's fine though, we're a few steps away to get our first 5 star character. Moving forward to this quest, but this time, it's all about talking to NPCs. And oh look! We unlock a travel log, where we can finally get some more good stuff and content. We're about to reach the scene where the Doomsday Beast arrives to raid the space station. Oh no, what a terrible event. But Trailblazer and Mami Himiko are here to save the day. But right now, let's beat off these dudes. Alright, now that we beat them, let's rush our way to the Doomsday Beast. Although I have a bit problem because this guy keeps oh, bothering hello, me man. to activate the control device. Funny enough, I keep running away from that antimatter until I finally reach the control device before I even notice it. It's so annoying to keep fighting against them without having the fast forward features unlocked. Now, for the awaited moment, I can finally take down the Doomsday Beast. Well, as I thought would be. At first, I thought it was a bad luck that I couldn't beat the boss initially. However, even on the second attempt, I still failed to beat it. So it's time for us to upgrade our Trailblazer. Oh look, a chest! We absolutely need those to farm more upgrades for our MC. And of course, it's a free goodies. Okay, when I saw this big dude, I immediately ran into it and went for a battle to get that big chest. But unfortunately though, he is so strong at my current level. However, I did find some basic chests to level up my trailer baser a bit. Which is quite nice. And another one to level up my trailer laser to 10. Oh, I almost forgot to upgrade my light cone. 
which is really essential if we need those big stats. After all the attempts and preparation, it's finally time to face the Duke's Day Beast. At last, we finally conquered the Doomsday after several attempts. I would like to express my gratitude to Himiko for serving as our trial character during that encounter. She truly shouldered the entire battle in there. Now, I feel sad by the fact that we only have Trailblazer on our team. I truly hope that we can complete this 5 star roster in the near future. For now, let's go to Horta's office to finish off our Trailblaze quest in the space station. It's time to explore the metaverse, I mean the simulated universe. Linko Stato! Alright, in this situation, this is a perfect example of an exemption to my rule, where the game forces me to use non 5 star units as a trial characters. I believe there might be a solution to this problem, but I don't think it's possible in this quest specifically. For the rest of this quest, it's simply about defeating the dudes in auto mode because I feel lazy to play the game manually. And auto mode exists for a reason, you know? The simulation universe is now finished. And look, we obtained another 4 star character. Which again, won't be needed for this challenge. Now it's time to get our tent pool. Oh my goodness, my heart is beating so fast right now. I really want to get Jepard or Bailu on this account. So that we could at least make this challenge much easier for me. Oh my dog, wait, it's actually a 5 star. Oh my goodness. Let's hope this is something special. Come on, this is something special. It has to be. And look, it's a golden yellow. Alright, Pala, that's you. Okay, now you're out. Come on, Bailu, Chipard, Bailu, Chipard. Yes, Bailu! We actually got her. Oh my god. We actually beat the game. Yep, no cap, we actually beat the game. Now it's time to put the adorable healer in our team. Look how cute she is. Look at her while running. She is so kawaii. Kawaii Disney. Yes, I've been waiting for this moment. We can finally teleport in waypoints. Well, this is a farewell moment in the space station. Sayonara, my astronaut friendo. And hello to the snowy planet. Oh man, this kind of brings me back to the dragon spine area. Now that we unlocked the Calyx, we can finally burn our resources here. So let's do it and put our Bailu to the test if we could beat this challenge in auto mode. Because I am indeed a lazy person. At first, I really thought Bailu would die so easily to these flying enemies. But it turns out that a single skill can make her HP at full health. 
which is really OP the fact that I really need a sustained character in this game. After the first round, I'm so confident to do full AFK mode without keeping an eye of them during the battle. Now it's time to upgrade our characters to 20 to max them out at our current Trailblaze level. Moving on to that, it's time to beat up these dudes. Ah, oh, come on. Why I can't even play on auto mode? Well, I guess we just gotta deal with them. Let's give this man a nice bonk. Catch my bat, tough guy. Maybe you guys need some big bonks too. And look, the man himself has come. Jepard. Now it's time to beat you up. Ow, how dare you touch my girl. What did he say? Ow, that gotta hurt as well. Now it's my turn to give you guys a nice bonk. Hey, that's cheating. Alright, let's give this man a huge damage. Here comes the baseball bat! Boom! Well, that's a lot of damage. Thank you, Bailu, for the free heal. Hey, wait, that's it? You can't run away, coward! Well, after some battles with Jepard, we're finally at the city. Yay! It's just adorable how she runs like this while running around in Jepard while he is walking. I just find it cute. Hey, Kudobotachi, can I play with you guys? Alright, pals. This trailblazer is feeling sleepy, now it's time to sleep. Wow, it feels like I didn't sleep at all. Wait, did I just have a deja vu? I feel like I've seen this kind of um, scenery before, or should I say, this kind of energy. Well, it's time to run. After running away with Ranya with her silver main guards, I believe this marks the end of the video. I admit that this video may not been produced as well as I hoped, but I put an effort to create it. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content. That's all for me. Thank you and goodbye.